look, you've got this NBC news, this character that writes for NBC News, Clymer, saying that the good guy with a gun is a myth. Is it? No. You know, first of all, that was an incredible opening statement that you just had. And I, I kind of want to run through that real quick, because what you're saying about uh, not just carrying a gun, but being empowered by it, that's really what it, this is all about. Uh, it, it's about empowering the people to take care of themselves so that they're not so dependent. That's the key word here, dependent on law enforcement, because I've been a cop and law enforcement really uh, to protect and to serve should be changed to they will show up when you call them and sometimes they'll be there already. You know, that's the reality of the whole thing. And there was a video of a woman, um, I believe it was in Florida, who just got uh, uh, pistol whipped and she was carrying, but the guy stole her purse because she was not aware of her surroundings. And then when we look at uh, at the, the in Tampa, at the murders in Tampa, most of this is occurring because people are not aware of their surroundings. Serial killers are not magical beings. And when we look at this guy on NBC, what we see is an individual who I can guarantee you, you know, when I got out of the FBI, having been a cop on the street, a, a Navy SEAL, a federal air marshal, a security contractor, an FBI special agent, I still was not able just to have a gun because I didn't serve, I didn't retire at 20 years from the FBI. So he's the same type of person that would be saying, which I got hate emails when I was on uh, Sean Hannity's uh, show once saying that we should automatically have our ability to carry a weapon if we're a veteran, saying that um, your training doesn't matter, it's no better. So these people talk in circles and it's absolutely nonsense because they don't want the people to be empowered. That's what it all comes down to.